this 23 year old guy. She's my mate on the team. She's only 15. What did I do wrong? Approaching minors and kissing them. As soon as we parked the buggy, one person started coming out saying someone had touched someone's leg. And then, yeah, we just got a few more witnesses. They were just popping out of everywhere. Yeah. The water's just come out of the water. There's a bloke out there being dodgy. Oh, here we go again. Oh, here we go. He's got a blue swimming cap on. Yeah. Yeah, he's just, yeah. He just yeah. 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 Yeah.
With no powers of arrest, lifeguards can only ask offenders to delete inappropriate images. They all lay their own top loss. Is that all right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're sorry, 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 going to get charged sorry. on that. It's just an invasion of privacy. They shouldn't be doing it. And I think they know they shouldn't be doing it. So get out of here, you know? You go. Go, 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 go. We hate it when people come down and, and try and take pictures and film people that are trying to just enjoy their day. We don't think it's fair. Mid-afternoon, and a rogue photographer has caught the attention of beachgoers. Uh, he took some photos of her as he rolled over, and then he followed him down to the water, so... I thought I'd go and give him the heads up. Guy taking photos, just gonna get him to come in and um, get him to show us his phone. I'll, I'll grab him. Corey locates the man near the shoreline. He was with his son, his wife and kids and grandkids and the whole family. God explained that we needed to have a look at his phone. He was doing something inappropriate and the son had no idea. So he was like, okay, yeah, go for it. And then he was shocked. Not acceptable. Yeah, yeah. You want to tell him why? Photo video, you know, I've never done that. Look at the view. You understand? You understand? It's not good, mate. As the photos are being deleted by the offender's son, the boyfriend of a victim sees the images. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Yeah. There's a push and shove going on. There's push and shove. Yeah. He was ready to punch on with him. You understand the problem? I pretty much had to tell him, mate. Please don't. You're going to go with the police if you do. Sorry, buddy. That family just had to leave the beach, and they were shattered because they were there just enjoying it, but just one person in the family ruined it for them, so they were, you know, they were gutted. Mate. Tell him. Yeah. Got to go, mate. Yeah, yeah, we are going. We are going now. He knew he'd been caught red-handed. And this young guy, I think what he did was more than enough for the guy to probably never pick up a phone again. Ruth and her boyfriend, Brad, are on holidays from the UK. I didn't hit one of them because it was just the start a scene and then it just make everything a bit worse and again, the police going for it and someone starting a fight on the beach. So. When he got the phone out, I looked and there was about 10 pictures to saw. It's like, you can tell it's there, on it? It's horrible. <laughs> we really try and do our best to uh, either have the police to deal with them or uh, make them get off the beach. The topless women are completely unaware they're being photographed. Yet, what the man doesn't realise is that he's being watched too. You got him, eh, Whip? Oh, mate, he is so blatantly doing it. The chapo's called the police. And we've caught a bloke taking photos of girls on the beach, like real sleazy and sly. And we'd like some officers to come down and attend if they could. Whippet's going in for a closer look. He keeps his shirt off to stay undercover. Chapo, I could see him with his arms folded, taking photos sort of out the bottom of his arm with his camera, and then he'd just go sit down, pull his towel over his lap, and then he's just having a look at his photos. Yeah, he's having a look at him now. As lifeguards wait for police, the situation is getting worse. Another woman has just reported that he's uh, doing stuff under the towel. After he goes and takes all the photos, he's looking at them and he's um, sort of playing with himself. So, do you see anything from there? I can't see that much detail from here, thank God. With reinforcements like this, the pervert's not going anywhere except the walk-up. Hello, sir. Hello. We're Craig McGuinness, this is my name, from Bondi Police Station. Uh -huh. uh, we've had a complaint that you may have been taking some photos of some of the other people on the beach today. Yeah. Has that been the case? Yeah. Are you aware that's actually an offence? No. What sort of photos have you been taking, sir? Uh, topless. Okay. And was anybody aware that you were actually taking the photos? Well, obviously somebody was, but... Uh... Yeah, but none of the people that you were taking the photos of? The guy who first spotted it, his, he reckons his wife got definitely photographed. And, uh, and another two girls down there as well. The policeman showed me the photographs with me close up, half naked. <laughs> Disgusting. Unfortunately, one of the ladies whose photos appear on the camera 
she would like us to take some action. Right. So at this point, you're under arrest. Okay. Don't have to say or do anything. Right. There's anything you do say or do right. can be used in court right. as evidence. Do you understand that? I do. Okay. It's people like that, they're just not wanted at the beach. They're just scum, really. They just ruin so many people's days just for their own disgusting enjoyment. So, I mean, to get rid of them makes it a better place for everyone. I saw like these a few girls and they were like yelling at this gentleman and they were saying, oh, delete the photo, delete the photo. They're obviously sunbaking topless. No? What? What? You can't take photos like that. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 here we go. Look, Lee. Which one? Which one? This one? That one? Yeah, delete. Delete. Oh, look, delete. I think that I'm a bit violated. I can't even come to the beach and sunbake without one photo sticking on me. He was just right there, but like kneeling with his camera pointing right at us. Like, it wasn't like even hidden or anything. It was just right there. Mate, I can call the police. No English. No English. Like, woo, woo, woo. Please. He said he didn't speak any English and he said he didn't know what he was doing, but it's, you know, it's hard to say. I think he knew exactly what he was doing. Delete. You're a creep. Yeah, I'm just going to take your memory card, eh? There's too many. If, if I don't take this, you will go to the police to go like this. Like, the police will come, OK? Because you can't, no, you can't take photos of the girls. Oh, it's something to the lifeguard can do if you think there's photos on there that shouldn't be, you can uh, dispose of it. When you get the card, got the got the heavy duty shears out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it in half. There's no more card. Everyone's happy. He's going home. Case closed, yeah. Jake one, pervert, zero. I got my eyes on this guy who's been reporting touching people in the water. He just jumped in the water again towards a lake. He's touching everyone, just... Yeah, he's not right. He's not right there. Good afternoon, Julia. It's Trent from the Bono Lifeguards. How are you? Um, we have a man uh, down here who's inappropriately touching people um, in the water. You know, they pretend to bump into people, and but we've had, like, numerous, numerous complaints. Within seconds, more reports come in. If your officers want to come to, if you're sending a crew down, if they want to come to the tower, we could point them in his direction. Bye. Bye. I'll tell you now, I was thinking. Hey, mate. Sorry, bud. Yeah. That guy, yeah, yeah. yeah we well, good. We, we've been reporting, yeah. Thank you. In the space of half an hour, lifeguards received six reports. Uh, a guy just came up to us in the surf, tapped me on the shoulder, said, I don't really know what he said, but he's just, you could see in his eyes, he's so drunk. When he came up to Nick, I just felt very uncomfortable, so we just wanted to make the lifeguard aware just in case anything happened in the water. I know what's going to happen. The police are going to come down here and I'm not going to be able to find him. I can't keep eyes on him the whole... Yeah, you know what I mean? Half yeah, an hour until they get here, and then in the meantime, we've got That's people good, drowning. Right? You know what happens? You take your eyes off yeah. the rips to follow some idiot like this, yeah. and that's when you miss rescues. When the police arrived for this matter, I was really relieved because our main priority here is, is the swimmers in the surf. The man is spotted under the beach hire umbrellas, but he doesn't get to enjoy the shade for long. I could see them chasing the alleged offender down the beach. I had no idea what was going to happen next. I could see them chasing the alleged offender down the beach. They tried to chat to the man, at which point he left the conversation and they gave chase. The whole thing looked quite surreal. I thought it would just be a standard apprehension or an arrest, but it certainly didn't go that way. When they got to the water's edge, he entered the water and they stopped. And then I later learned that it's police protocol uh, not to enter the water. As the arrest strategy is formulated, the man makes his way onto the reef at the south end. You can walk out there. We're not allowed to. Not allowed to. So the police responded with their water police boat. 
and once they brought their water police boat into the bay, it was decided that it was too shallow for the water police boat to come in close enough, so they needed another plan. The standoff begins and the spectators gather. Yes, hello everyone, I need everyone's attention in the water here. We've got the police's orders, we need to evacuate the water. Normally, lifeguards only evacuate the water. All these swimmers, please, out of the water. Get out of the water. During shark sightings. they got the water police boat out here and old mates here just floundering on the rocks. It's an interesting one. After a one-hour standoff, Paul Air is called in. <laughs> when that chopper come over the headland, it was like we are on the set of a Hollywood movie, mate. It was unbelievable. So the police called in all the cavalry. The boat was arriving, that it was a helicopter too. It was all happening and it was something like out of a James Bond movie. After 45 minutes, the lifeguard tower begins to resemble a mobile command centre. So the police and the lifeguards came up with a third plan, and that was to send Beardy out on the jet ski to the police boat, pick up the water police officers and bring them in to the man on the rocks. The man has now evaded police for over an hour and a half. Beardy's picked up the two water police from the boat. Okay. And he's driven into icebergs where this guy's perched up on this random rock. Uh, it's pretty shallow in here. Such a weird situation. A jet ski, a boat, a helicopter, scores of police and half a dozen lifeguards. They've just arrested him with force. And, uh, before we knew it, we were just sitting there and uh, he was getting marched off the base, wrist locked with an escort of police. It was, it was quite a full on scene. After an hour and 45 minutes, the man was arrested and charged with hinder police as well as stalk and intimidate. A couple of girls just reported to Corey, this bloke here we got on the camera. He's been playing himself on the beach. So just trying to uh, catch him out here. I was just tanning and he came and sat next to me and I was fe I was feeling really uncomfortable. He kept staring and... It's disgusting. People should be able to come here and just enjoy their own space, you know, not not that sort of stuff. He's out of there. Yeah, you would have saw the girls go talk to Corey. We'll just keep an eye, see where he goes. Lifeguards can't police everything but inappropriate behaviour is not welcome on Bondi Beach. After a swim, the man changes into a different shirt, then lies down next to another group of women. You've been following this guy. Apparently he's been creeping. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you've been following him. He's walked all out north. No, we got him up here, but he obviously went on the casino. Yeah, has many of the people swimming been complaining about him? Or? Well, one, one group has. So, yeah. Yeah, Croy's um, just letting you know the police just knocked on the door just for a random check-up, and um, they're actually going down to talk to him. This is one beachgoer that's about to get his marching orders. The policemen are, are escorting him off, off the beach straight away. I think they're going to have a word to him up on the, on the prom and... Uh, Good old turtle Luke on. <laughs> they've given him the old turtle Luke. The man's details are checked for prior offences. Yeah. Police guy on the left, he'd be running the check. He'd be nervous if he's got a, a conviction or something. Yeah. Was this that you were coming down and you were laying next to him and stuff like that? And oh, I just found it intimidating. So, right. No worries, that's all right. Yeah. All right. Despite no previous record, the man is told to leave the beach. That's it, we told him to go, so if he comes back, just let us know. We can come back, so. If you want any other dramas, just let us know. We'll be around the beach for the rest of the day, so. Oh. Our job as lifeguards is about making sure everyone in the water and on the beach has a nice, safe day. But the behaviour of some beachgoers gets in the way of that plan. I've got a sense of Jacko. Yeah, mate, go. Mate, can you just come back up here for a sec? Uh, yeah. He came up to us and he was like, oh, will you take a photo of me? But as he stood up, he, like, started taking photos yeah, of, of us. us. And then we've seen him do it, like, three times. And he was over there before, like, trying to kiss these girls. So I took a video of him on my Snapchat. Today isn't the first time lifeguards have received complaints about this man. Beardy and that had thrown him off the beach a couple of times already. Inappropriate touching can be regarded as assault. 
After pressing his hand towards this woman's breast, the man tries to kiss her. Hey! Come here! What the f are you doing? Hey? Kissing girls, touching girls over there. Not much. Yes, I just saw that. Hey. Yeah, stop it. Hey. Get your gear and go. Okay, Get your gear right. and go. Okay. Otherwise, the police will come. Today, the man is back and he's up to his old tricks. He's f***ing hustling these chicks. Look, she's putting her top on and that. The man offers to do up the woman's bikini. Reedy can't sit back any longer. I sort of summoned my heavy chest and went down there and tried a bit of a heavy-handed approach. Get off the beach. The man refuses to admit fault, but Reedy isn't backing down. Get off the beach. Get off the beach. And he took off. He just sort of started running. He, it was obvious that he knew what he was doing was wrong. The mention of the police gets the man's attention. But remarkably, he only relocates to the grassy area at South Bondi. The guy was so cocky that he didn't care what we were saying. Total disrespect for us. So I called the cops. Do you reckon you guys could send a, a couple of crew down if you're not too busy? We've just got this guy, we've thrown him off the beach a couple of times. I can, he's just hassling chicks all the time. We weren't super busy on the beach, so I walked down to South and just monitored him till the police arrived. Yeah, they're ready, they're, um, they're walking South, you won't miss him. Come on, Nick, you've got another girl. So when I saw the police walking along the promenade, I said, as soon as he sees you, he's going to bolt. And exactly like the plan went, as soon as he saw them, he bolted. Cops are running. Reedy's getting his trice on his on. Once out of the park, the man could disappear into Bondi's crowds. I definitely wasn't going to let him get away. Here we go. Reedy's going to take him down here. When I ran and approached him, I thought he was going to run, so I was getting ready to tackle him. He's got him. Reed, he's got him. He sort of stopped still, and I grabbed him on the arm. It looked like he wanted to resist a little bit, but I think he saw the boys in blue coming behind me. What are you running for, dude? What are you running? Yeah. What's happening? Why, why did you run up the hill? Hmm? Why did you run up the hill? Nice. Just what I pull. I'm still here. Come to the beach. Well, if you go through his photos on his phone, yeah. mate, you'll see a I don't know what he's doing with Nothing. Yeah. I come back to beach. Nothing. Oh, what, what for? What are you doing it for? Police check the man's phone. What the hell? But all photos have been deleted. And without any of the women present to make a statement, police must let the man go. You kind of don't invade other people's space. And this guy was just doing exactly that. He was just getting all up all up in women's space and making them feel really uncomfortable. Pretty happy that we caught him and detained him. We don't like people like that on the beach. Huh? You are not allowed back here. No problem okay? for me now. If you come back with you, no, 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 me. no crime. But obviously, if you come back here, you will get in trouble, OK? Right Having the police involved should give the guy a bit of a scare and we won't see him around the beach for a while. Police issued the man with a move on order and he left the beach. A young girl came up and she was shaking like a leaf. She said, oh, I need your help. He's um, old, he's really hairy, he's Sunday walking out now. Job. She said she'd been indecently assaulted in the surf. That's, oh, it, that's oh, him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's sort of like walking around, like yeah. looking at everyone. Yeah. I, I can't believe it. Like, no, 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 we'll get it's scary. I've just got this young girl here next to me. She's just in between the flags. Some guy was swimming up and grabbed her right on the crutch. Cool, cool. I knew as soon as the girl had said that she'd been indecently assaulted that I had to call the police. This is our Harry's now lifeguards down at Bondi. You got it? He's right behind those two girls there. Okay, mate. Yeah, 
Yeah, and see, he just see, got see. on a girl. We need someone down here now. He's just done it again to another girl out on the sandbank. The police said to me that we could make a citizen's arrest if we wanted to, we could grab the guy. OK, I spoke to the police. Uh, we've got him on camera up here. They're, they're on their route now. If we have to detain him, the police are giving us the right to do it. I'm not going to approach him yet until the cops get him. I'll just uh, stick right on him. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah. So he's looked at us. Look. Looking around to see if anyone else is looking. Do you see how he waited for the wave and then like crept over to him? How is it coming down in under cover if you need him? The police said to me that until they get down here that we could make a citizen's arrest if we wanted to, we could grab the guy. Hey Joel. Hey, excuse me. Hey, listen, I'm a lifeguard. Listen, uh, did, did the guy touch you out there on the sand bank? Oh, he just, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, he's, we've got a problem. Yeah, he just had to his arm around. He was following you from behind. I was watching on the camera okay. up in the lifeguard tower. Oh. Yeah, so it's, 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 it wasn't an innocent act at all. In the last 15, we've got him twice going near girls and touching them. It's kind of scary that one of the chicks he grabbed, she actually apologised to him, thinking that she was in the wrong. Hello, I'm Hello. 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 to come in. Right, he's actually there now, on the cover. Just standing there. Oh. Do you want to go just pull him out, Eric, and now? Yes. Oh, look. Oh. See? Yeah. Yeah. She just fully flinched. bumped into me yeah. and then I kind of turned around and he was right there and he just like grabbed my leg but like and said sorry. Yeah. <laughs> just to grab my leg. I was like, oh gross. So Alright. The detectives, they asked me to go out onto the sandbank and bring the guy in. Here we go, they're going in, they're closing in. Yeah, watching what you've been doing. You have a chat to the police. Very bad. I'm new here. I'm old here, and I'm your witness. I'm new here. I'm just just listen to me for a second, okay? My name's Constable Aston from Bondi Police. At this stage, you are under arrest for assault. Just listen to me. Listen to me. I'm new here. Just let me talk for a second. At this stage, you are under arrest for assault. Do you understand that? Yeah, I'm not. Okay. I'm so Just sorry. Let me finish, okay? Yeah. I'm, we're going to ask you some questions. You don't have to say or do anything if you don't want to. Our job as lifeguards is to protect the public. You know, if anything ever does happen along these circumstances, we want people to come to the tower and let us know, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, I've seen uh, two gentlemen running up to the tower and when people are sprinting to the tower, you know something's a bit iffy. The man, a French tourist, has limited English. So he said, little man with little girl, and I still couldn't understand. Then he made a little kiss motion. Oh, a man's tried to kiss a little girl, and he said, yes. It's a matter for police. Police right here. But Bondi's other boys in blue are currently occupied. So we got to find him, locate him, and just keep monitoring on him until police can come down and take him away. Man, just get down there and find the kind of, um, safety as well. One of the victims recalls what happened. This 23-year-old guy, like, he was drunk, came up and, like, kissed my mate on the cheek. She's only 15. And then he followed us into the water. Um, and then, like, when he couldn't get my mate, he came to me and, like, chucked me into the water. Um, but didn't get my consent to do that. On the shoreline, lifeguards identify the man. I could smell alcohol on him. I just I told him just to stay still and stuff, and he got up and ran back in the water. Um, he just 
All I want to do is just try and hold him until the police arrive and those young girls will be fine and they can go carry on with their day. When I got down there and I started speaking to the guy, straight away I could pick up. The guy's straight on the defensive. Then when we started talking, he kind of knew something was up and that's when he actually stood up towards me. Ooh. Ooh. I thought, we're going to fight here in a minute, you know. Harrison attempts to cool things down. That's when you say, look, police are going to come down here and have a chat. If you've done nothing wrong, stay. The cop was there, you know, he goes up to him and said, look, there's accusations that you've been, you know, harassing young girls. And at this stage, he gave the bloke two options. You can come up on your own terms, or if you're going to play up, we're going to have to handcuff you and we have to take you up that way in front of everyone. And he keeps on arcing up. Without a partner, the police officer faces a solo arrest with a man who won't go willingly. And uh, that's where things escalated once again. Police are apparently arresting this guy. And obviously enough's enough. It just happened so quickly. Oh, I think last time I arrested someone was probably playing cops and robbers in the schoolyard. Are you being serious? Like, if you can't bring this out. Police must investigate the serious allegations. I can't, I can't feel my hand. Sit down, buddy. I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't even know why you guys brought me here. Like, what did I do wrong? Approaching minors and kissing them. Bro, I didn't kiss anyone. Okay. And guess what? So let's, go, let's go to the uh, let's go to the court and I'm We're charging going to. I'm charging you and, and I'm charging this guy. Are you drunk? I'm not drunk. Police have got him. It's really quite challenging actually to capture these people and get witnesses sometimes. Do you have an evidence against me? Some older girls from the group arrived to make statements. I kept running away from him, but he kept following. And then that's when, like, he seriously threw, like, threw me in the water and told him, like, not to do it. And then he was like, but I didn't do anything wrong and all this stuff. But, like, he obviously did if he, like, touched us. That's just not on if you don't have, like, their permission. The man was charged with indecent assault of a minor. Temperatures are rising down here at the beach and, and also the tempers are rising of, of a few people, so we just try and mediate it all and make sure no one drowns in between. <laughs>